Dunkinator Music. Ain't that right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. How you wake up like that that fast? Shit. Sometimes you gotta pull your energy from somewhere. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I either gotta take her to work or she's taking the car. I don't know which one. Good day. You too. Oh my god, y'all, I'm really tired. It don't help that I didn't uh go to sleep when I was supposed to, so I was up watching car shows and shit last night. Y'all, I can't believe my buddy's in middle school. Where did the time go? I literally knew him when he was like literally like me high a little bit a little bit hard to me high but you know what i mean now my man's just having girlfriends that shit crazy girl. i am yeah, about to take her to car <laughs> back to the house and go to sleep. More than likely, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. She's making one of my favorites for dinner tonight. What? This is the carne asada fries. You see that guac? It's not just guac. It's like some other stuff that I've made. It's like a specific um guac sauce that i do it's pretty good um yeah so yeah there's that i'm about to eat dinner though i'll be back <laughs> shake it like a pit bull <laughs> two towers one is a raspberry and one is a strawberry uh watermelon she didn't mix both of hers together it's really sweet to me drink number two drink number two yeah you see i 
had to take home with a chef coat on. I had to take that motherfucker on. Yeah, I had to take that coat off. That's too much backwash stuff. Yeah. I was thinking the same That's thing. That's what we're not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's too much backwash. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a phone home girl. We did one one time. We all got what we said. We was like, never. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, just think about what you yeah. suck it up, but you suck it up. I mean, it goes down. We not listen. We were first of When you stop sucking and stop sucking, that ain't in your mouth. It right. Your mouth so it should. It depends on who you so sucking. Exactly. You suck if you go like this and you. Listen, I was in the middle of If you still sucking while you take the straw out your mouth, it ain't nothing coming out. You can't put a mouth out. You don't know what's draining out of your mouth at the same why is it running out of your mouth? I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, but you see, I've been, you was done. Did nothing go back in? I mean, you don't know something that's going back you in. Don't know this problem. No bacteria is going back down <laughs> that straw. You can suck out of what you want. But the shit is in your mouth. I'll let you have that. I'll let you have the second chip when I'm at the chip. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 You got a big glass, so we got play. Your glass bigger than everybody. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just go up. Your whole cup that you are hugged is big. Not that you pointed it out. Cause Look I picked it. Look at it. Look at it. She is hilarious. The most ratchet person in the world. Not ratchet. Number two, and I'm gonna put it on the board. Like this around this house. Maybe on that bus, that bus just be on the edge. Okay, that's all I'm coming. That Hyundai. Down the hill. 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 We got lit lit. Yes, something in there. They need to come get them out. How y'all just gonna be taking up the washers and ain't even get y'all stuff out? They just put them in. Oh. This one is empty, but I don't know if it's a single or not. Yeah. Ready to check my clothes. Should be done now at this point. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I finished my wash. We're at the resupply place getting her and her grandma some hair. And she's searching through all these boxes. She got me recording her. And I'm recording for my vlog too, so. Y'all, I got the bare necessities. Let it go. 
how far I'll go. Puna Matata. I got a lot of shit on here. Stuff from Aladdin, Lion King, Mermaid. That would be dope. What is it? Oh, ACDC. Yeah. They got the Mariah Carey Christmas. Oh, it is. Look what I just found. Well, the look. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I am. Thank you. I was talking about this lady. Right? Lizzo? Yeah. I was showing my my, my uh, subscribers. Because, you know, you can't flip the camera around. Right. If y'all love me, if y'all ever want to make me cry, give me records. I want to, I want to, I, I need to find, like, old school records. Like, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, Anita Baker. I always thought these look, these look cool, too. Like, these are, like, the official old school with the whole... I just like the nostalgic look of them. Sometimes Target has some really good records. You can find some really good ones in here, but sometimes you gotta go to like an actual record store. But I have I found that when you go to the actual record store, most of the time they only have white people music. No offense, but I'm not into that type of shit. It depends on who it is. Let's be honest. Like it's all like I don't even know how to describe it. I'm gonna have to show y'all one day. But it'd be stuff that I'm not into. Like they don't have no Nick music. But a lot of my records that I did find were between Target and, <gasps> oh, they got the whole collection. They got the whole Harry Potter book collection. I remember I used to have it. I used to read them like faithfully. <laughs> hmm? Ooh, what is this? Is this actual recipes? Hmm? There's a Hocus Pocus cookbook? Mm-mm. Don't even... I already know what you was about to say. What was I going to say? It's not about white people. <laughs> y'all, I like this. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Hold on. They got all the... Like, African American um, stuff all together in like at this. uh not African American but um y'all know the word I'm trying to say diverse mm -hmm. I see you target I'm getting everything set up so I can do some fried raviolis so I already got my raviolis thawed I'm about to get my eggs in here for my egg wash I've got some flour in the fridge that I'm about to pull out and then this is going to be breadcrumbs. So these breadcrumbs are plain. I normally like Italian because it has a little bit more flavor, but uh, I'm using what I have. So I got my fire going. So let's go ahead and drop one of these in the egg. Then we drop it in the flour. Let me go back in the egg so it'll stick to the breadcrumbs. And then boom, you got a fried, or not fried yet, but a ravioli for frying. And then just drop it in the oil. And then rinse and repeat. And some more that. And these are beef raviolis that's in here. So we got a little meat. The last time I did this, I had um, cheese ones. Hoping that these uh, give a little bit of a different, you know, flavor atmosphere than the last ones I had. Second part, when we went to retro, 
Because I left my fucking phone <clears throat> in Houston and they just called her, man. So I'm kind of mad. But last night was pretty cool. I just got up to feed the dogs and let them out. I'm still kind of tired. <clears throat> My Sherry, I'm all. She tired. All right, guys. I'm about to go to Dollar Tree. And I'm going to get some snacks and stuff. But we are also supposed, also supposed to be doing some type of reef or something. But I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting for that shit. So she said she didn't want to go. So I'm not going to do that. All right, I'll be back. Since I'm gonna be here tomorrow, while they at work, I'm about to go grab me some shit real quick. And a little snack for right now. It's not that cold, but it's cold, you know what I'm saying? My knee. I feel like I busted my knee somehow, some way. Something happened with my knee. Cause this motherfucker be hurting. Like, if I get to moving around too much and walking or dancing or whatever, my knee get to, like, and it's only my left knee. It ain't even both of them. It's just one. But it get to acting like it's hurt Some. Let me make sure. Hold on. Let me make sure I got my car. Hold on, y'all. Look at all these. I'm looking at these uh, Christmas decorations. So this is probably the stuff that Sherry be using for her wreaths when they be making them. We use some scratch. I got all that Christmas decor crap back there. I'm hoping that I get this job. If I get it, I start January 9th. So that'll be enough time for me to start working and then have some money for my birthday. What? Y'all, they didn't came up. We got like all types of stuff in here now. But what I'm looking for, ah, there we go. I'll be getting these right here, these spicy beef patties. Take these and fry them up. Put them in the air fryer. You want a business thing, baby. I'm literally just stuck trying to figure out what else I want to grab. Somebody was seeing something about it being no, no longer being a dollar. How it's a dollar twenty-five now. And so she was like, I didn't miss you when it was a dollar. Like, nigga, it's only an extra twenty-five cents. <laughs> now I thought I was tripping But look at this hoe throwing my shit in the bag like this Like she just mad So the conversation behind me was kind of low So I'm going to just tell y'all what happened Mom and daughter was arguing because the daughter wanted something out of the store Mom was like I only have a little bit of money Daughter was like yeah $44 And mom was like oh my god glad you Glad that you think that's a lot of money, and then that's what led to this conversation or clip next. I always swear you made the money like $44, that ain't nothing. Shit. Nowadays, if you know what kind of car you have, that's barely enough for gas. Shit. You know what I'm saying? About to head back to the house. Her house. Oh, no. I dropped my phone. Alright, I'm back. Kids always swear you got money. And it's like, first of all, why you count my pockets? Second of all, that money is for other things. You know what I'm saying? But $44, that ain't a lot. That is not a lot. At all. And they be swearing you can just do so much with that. But I was the same way. Shit, didn't realize till I got older. Now I'm like, shit, I see what my mama meant. Boy. Now watch this. Zeus gonna attack me when I go in the house. Mama. 
What I tell y'all? Kai, I got you some noodles. My shirt. What's up, guys? It's uh, Monday, and it's about lunchtime. I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm not feeling good, but I'm not feeling good at the same time. My allergies is acting up, and I feel sleepy. I'm sitting here watching Chucky's vlog. Her vlog miss this vlog miss day five. And then I just also made that Jamaican beef patty that I was telling y'all about. So it's uh been fried at this point. So this is a spicy beef one. I like it because it's actually spicy. But they also had a jerk chicken one. I should have grabbed it, but I hate trying new things and then I don't like it. So I stuck with my spicy beef. But I'm gonna definitely have to get the jerk chicken one. See how it tastes. I don't have nothing going on today. I'll probably put in some more applications. I didn't get the um the job I was talking to y'all about, which I really wanted because it was Monday through Friday. I applied to this one job last night in the middle of the night, and they already hit me up like early this morning about an interview. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'm still. Waiting on ADT and AT&T. I think I'm in a better headspace and position now than I was before. You know, if I go back to AT&T, like, I'd be able to manage it a little, a little bit better. Got my fingers crossed on something. Let's go outside. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. Come on. Go. Thing they don't play about is when it's time to go outside. Get her. No. Get her. <laughs> oh, they really missed you. I literally just let them out, but I didn't give them nothing else to drink or anything. Cause I didn't want them to go in the back, go to the bathroom again, and it's already late. Yeah. Well, they still have food in their bowls. Kai here just got back from club. Go ahead and um. Change your clothes or whatever. Do everything you need to do. So, you remember the deal, right? No. Yes, you do. Hey, y'all. We played Roblox yesterday. And I tried to screen record it so that I could put it on here for y'all. So y'all could see me whooping his ass. But for some reason, it didn't record. But yeah, today, I told him that today he's playing Call of Duty. I just hate mobile games. I'm really not a big mobile game fan. I prefer to play it on the console. It's just me, but he loves his Call of Duty and all that other crap. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. I'm taking all the kills. Enemy in sight. Target down. Contact with enemy. Enemy contact. Oh no, enemy there's contact. two over here, guy. Got you. Targets in sight. I'm in the yellow house. Target down. He's gonna come knife one of them in the back. Ready, second. Enemy in sight! Okay, good. Target in sight! And you can shoot through it. Hell no, I'll see you. I got a second, bro. <laughs> what is your rank? What is that? What, what, is that? What, is, what is that? I don't know. Mission accomplished. How do you it? Good work. You How do I work? You're a weak bro? Alright, now we gotta do a ranked match. A what? Ranked. You didn't give me that. You, you got one of the best things in the game. For real? It's a legendary that costs money. Oh, yeah, load me up, baby. Uh, and the thing is, bro, the thing is, I wasn't able to play because I didn't update at that time. I don't even care, I still pick that up. We gotta win this fast. Winning this one. Okay. Stealth chopper inbound. Enemy mm -hmm. in sight. Got one minute, got one minute. 
Oh, I like this guy. Targeting mm -hmm. sight! So, it's Tuesday. It's officially my last day over here. And then I'm going home. I got some things that I need to help my mom with when I get home. So, if she will allow me, I'm going to show y'all some of that stuff. We're going to get her like a meal plan and stuff together and stuff that she can eat, you know, during the day while I'm uh, working or not there or, you know, just easy stuff to kind of um, healthier alternatives and easy stuff to do. She's got some things going on medically. I'm not going to say too much of her business. All I'm going to say is, you know, uh, I'm going to take care of my mother because I only have one. God forbid if anything was to happen, I know that I did what I needed to do to, you know, help her live longer. So I am actually uh, getting ready to do a phone interview at 1.30. It's 1.18. So I got up a little bit early so that way I can, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, kind of get my vocal box working <coughs> me, 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 me. for this uh, interview. So and then I'm going to start getting my stuff, my, my stuff together and packing up my stuff to go I always try to um I always try to like clean up something and help and stuff before I leave too so I'll probably end up doing that at some point why use lights when you can use a light is it bad that I just want a job so that way I can like go to all my favorite food food places that is one thing that I did miss about Tulsa is like my favorite favorite food spots like Genia mm. Blue Coast, mm. that's really the only places that I really be going. So if you're in Tulsa and you know some good food spots, let me know. Then the food trucks though, that's what's really popping. Food trucks and the people that's um selling plates. It's a couple people that be selling plates, boy. I'ma have to, yeah. I'ma have to tap in with these motherfuckers right here. Yeah, so I definitely wanna, yeah, and there's, there's definitely some places that I wanna want to try but for sure blue coast and Ginny, those are like my staple stamps oh and um chicken in the wolf and y'all know i went to mr rose's the other day but i just i just hate not having money like and then my birthday coming up my mama's birthday and my son's birthday christmas and i don't have no money to do nothing so i'll tap in with y'all after the interview and let y'all know how it went all right y'all so i'm about to get ready to start cleaning up it's not the major really. So, I did have my interview today, but I ended up declining the offer because they they ain't paying enough. Yes, it's work from home. Yes, it's Monday to Friday, but starting to pay is lower than I expected it to be, and I tried to negotiate and you know see if we can get higher than than what they were offering, and I was told it was a no. So. Somebody loves you, baby. About to get some water together. Yeah, I need to get in the shower. Hey, Alexa, play Don't Play With It by Lola Brooke. Don't play with it. Keep on doing it by Lola Brooke from Apple Music. Work a bitch is going up. Only talk about bands. And we hit the show. Tell me you can me. And we never do a quick one. You have a lot of work to do at work. 
to me. No. Mm. You can get it done easily type of shit. Yeah, understood. Actually, I've been sitting on like two days. Two days ago work. That's how much I don't have, if that makes sense. Mm. Like it was from last Thursday. Yeah. And I didn't do it. Y'all, I know it's an old show, but I've been binge watching The Good Wife for like the last few days. This motherfucker, ooh boy, I got two of them coming in. But I've been binge watching The Good Wife for the last few days. And it's actually pretty good. I like it. I'm on season two. What you got? Box, boxing, early Christmas present. Hey, hey, you got the stealing stuff. Okay, thank you. Y'all mm -hmm. yeah, look. Yay, my box box is finally here, bro. Y'all know what it is, influencer. We already told y'all about them. It's a uh, Wednesday, and for some reason, I'm having a back spasm or lock. My back injury that I have is basically my lower lumbar area anyway. So, like, every time I try to get up and walk, move around, anything like that, it's hurting really, really bad. What kind of package is it? It's a winter something box. Winter preparation box. Here goes the OxyClean. And then here goes the face serum. Let's see how big this is compared to the box. That looks expensive. Right, it probably is. We're gonna check it and see how much it is compared to each, each thing. So, this is the things that it is here. But I just finished the Vox Box 2 um, the other day. It was uh, lights, LED lights. I might have another one coming. So this is what you need for dinner. Uh, homemade, like chicken um, bowl, like they do at KFC. So yeah, that's for getting dead. We're about to get into this. <sighs> Trying to get to this bathtub stuff so I can try to run a bath. But it's under the sink and I'm struggling. Everybody's at school or at work right now. It's Friday and I am. I'm headed to the hospital. I say I'm out of breath because I am. I can't even put my socks on. Struggling to put my pants on, shorts or anything for that matter. I also reached out to my old work comp lawyer because this is a work comp issue to see about having a reevaluation as far as their decision on medical. This is the first time it's flared up. This is the first time it's flared up this bad since the actual injury <sighs> but i just wanted to let y'all know what was going on i will tap back in with y'all in a minute all right guys so i didn't get um i didn't get no footage from the hospital but i literally checked in at 2 18 um p.m and they didn't discharge me or let me go until what what was it mom like six or seven o'clock this morning so i am tired exhausted i was frustrated the part that was making me mad the most was they they i was sitting in the waiting room for like eight hours for just the MRI part. I took the MRI. Then I had to wait. I waited like. Four more hours. And then they took me to the back. Of the like triage area. And I just. Basically was sitting back there waiting. And I waited for another few hours. And then. They were like. Um, we were waiting on the doctor. To come in here. To just tell you what happened instead of giving you a bed because at first they were going to give me a bed but they didn't have any beds so 
they were like, but the doctor's not coming back in here or, or up here or something like that. So we're going to send you back out into the waiting room. And then I waited for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Maybe. And because it wasn't that long that I waited. Because um, I, I had told my mom, I was like, if they don't say nothing to me by 6 or 6.30, like, I'm out of here. And around that time is when they, they, uh, or a little bit before that, something like that, they called me back for a room. And then I sat back there for a little bit. Doctor came in and told me, like, there's the bulging disc. Um... If I'm not mistaken, I've only had one when, with my work injury when I got injured. And it was like the L4, L5. But now she's saying it's the L5 and the S1 um, that is all bulging. And then I also have, of course, like the inflammation around the discs. Um, but also now the new thing is arthritis um, around the disc in the area. So... She was like, that's why it flared up and kind of stuck with you this time. Um, because normally it's kind of like just a quick, like, you know, spasm or sharp shooting pain. And then it kind of just goes away. This has been a consistent pain since Tuesday. It is now Saturday. So every time I turn over try to walk or like do anything that requires the bottom half of my body I'm in pain crying at some point so they are saying I still need to continue injections um and then they gave me like one two three three or four medicines um, two of them are muscle relaxers. Uh, um, one of them is a lidocaine patch, so kind of like an icy hot, but with that medicine in it, more medicine in it. And then the other one is an inflammatory uh, to kind of help with swelling and all that stuff like that. So I'm back at home um, where my mom and my sister, she's been uh, so kind and gracious in helping um, me you know get around in the house and feeding me and stuff like that so I am gonna go ahead and close the vlog out but y'all you know just keep me in your prayers and I'm gonna try to also reach out to my work comp lawyer or maybe see about some type of uh disability or something for the days where you know I'm just having just down you know um the doctor told me to take it easy for the next few days or until you know I'm no longer having the the pain with walk and stuff like that so um I'm almost also embarrassed to say that I was having so much pain and stuff that I like couldn't make it to the bathroom basically was pissing on myself like this shit is just no joke bro it's no joke but um yeah I I'm gonna just start you know doing better with my health and try to see what I can do um Hopefully my lawyer can get in contact with a Sears representative or somebody and see about continued medical now that there's something new going on with this injury or, you know, something. Try to figure out something, I guess. <laughs> and then, like I said, if not, you know, see if there's something that I can do with disability. <sighs> but I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog y'all just pray for me and my health and my strength and everything else um i love y'all appreciate y'all for watching if you stayed this long thank you 
Peace, love, and chicken grease. Dunkin' out. Dunkin' Aid Music. Uh, it's Dunkin' Aid Music. Vlogging life and other bullshit. Come enjoy the vibes. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe.